Hello everyone, my name is Eclipse and this is What is Your Life Path or Your Soul Purpose? I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted on the polls. I really appreciate it. And so yes, let's start. So you can either pick a crystal or you can skip ahead and pick one of the statues. All right, if you picked this crystal or this statue, this is your reading. So this is one of my favorite statues. It's in Florence. It's um, the David by Michelangelo or David by Ma Michelangelo. And it's about the story of David the boy who slays a giant called Goliath. And what I'm getting here is also with the crystal that you chose, this inner strength that people don't see. You are coming like an, you're coming forth as like an underdog. And you, you can conquer whatever, whatever obstacles in front of you, no matter how big this obstacle. I, I feel like you're looking at a mountain, this huge mountain, but you, you can conquer it. You might be a little bit afraid, but I'm also hearing... Being brave does not mean you don't have any fears. Being brave means you see your fears, but you put it to one side. You don't let it, you don't let your fears conquer you. You conquer your fears. That's what I'm getting. But yeah, you're going to be, I see you taking down some big obstacle, whether it be a person, whether it be just some sort of career some sort of obstacle in your life you, you're you're taking down something big um and this was destined this was written in the stars before you were born that's what i'm hearing let's see what else i can get from this you were meant to be marveled at if you've ever been to florence um the david statue is people go there just for that it's, it's really something to behold. So people, are, you are meant to be on this big stage in life where people know your name. People respect and admire you for whatever you've done in life. Like I see whatever path you choose, like whether you are like a, a singer or a writer or you, you're big in the, like the business world, People are meant to know your name and meant to know what you have done. Because this is going to inspire many people. You are inspiring. You are supposed to be some sort of role model to people. Yeah. Like, people see your work as a masterpiece. That's what I'm hearing. Wow, this is incredible. Like the, the amount of work and skills and like just effort you have put into this something. I don't know what it is, what kind of project it is, but like you're putting on a lot of blood, sweat and tears into it. You might not know what that thing is right now. You might only know in like 10 or 20 years because this is a life path. This is sole purpose. You know, it's not just going to be right now. It's some It's something very big and you're going to put a lot of you're going to learn a lot. You're going to put a lot of... It's just a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. Um, studying a lot, you know, re really becoming a master of your craft. Yeah, that's so interesting. But let's see what your cards have to say. What is... Power One's sole purpose or life path. What is Power One's sole purpose or life path? I'm hearing work in silence. Don't tell people what you're doing. Um, you don't want to get evil eye for no reason. So keep it to yourself, whatever you're planning. This idea is going to come to you, this big grand idea is going to come to you while you're just having fun like you're just enjoying you're just having a pleasurable day 
you know, just relaxing. It, it's not going to come from like forcing it out of you while you're working. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come from while you're at play, while you're just relaxing, while you're with friends, maybe. Or maybe, maybe you're like dancing or something. I do see some dancing. I do see some like partying going on. Then all of a sudden you have this big, big, big idea that's just going to like flash into your mind. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is what I was meant to do. This is what I was put on this earth for. It's big. You'll know it when you experience it. But can we have a little bit more about this idea? That is going to come to pile one. This is a general reading, so I, I doubt we're going to get that specific. But let's see what we can hear. What is this this inspiration, this idea that pile one is going to experience? Interesting. This is going to be inspired by your spiritual journey. You are going to take what you're learning from spirituality or your religion. I, I don't know. You know, whatever that is to you. And you're going to take that and turn it into something that inspires people. The word inspire keeps on popping up here. Yeah, this is something that is going to come directly from source or the universe or God or whatever, whatever you believe in from the divine. It's going to come directly from the divine. You are like this medium that is receiving this download. I'm also hearing Nikola Tesla. Look him up. Yes, but like I'm looking at this crown chakra, like she has a crown on her crown chakra, obviously. But it's signaling to me that you are getting a message through your crown chakra. It's definitely something new that this that the world hasn't seen before. It's very original. It's not going to be a copy of a copy of a copy. You're not going to be following some sort of trend. This is something brand new to the world. Can we get more? Can we get more on this, please? Thank you. Yes, this is definitely something, a major spiritual thing that you're going to be going through. I see you going through some sort of dark night of the soul and that forcing you to really delve deep into within your own subconscious in order to heal. And through this healing, through whatever you learn from the divine, from your meditation, from reading something, I feel, yeah, I do see some of you reading something about spirituality. This is going to inspire you and inspire your creative juices. Some of you are creatives and you are having a creative block at the moment. This is not sponsored, but I would recommend you reading The Artist's Way. That's a very good book for creatives who are blocked. Yeah, you're definitely blocked. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups. It's stagnant energy, like the water is supposed to be flowing, but it's not. It's, it's still. So... You don't know which way is left and which way is right. But you're going to, through this dark night of the soul, you are going to reawaken the movement of the waters, you know. So the movement of your creativity. This is very interesting. What else can you tell me about this idea that is going to come? What else can you tell me? You're restoring the balance of the world. You're restoring the world's harmony. You're bringing peace to the world. I do see this for a lot of you. This has something to do with your work or your career. 
some sort of ambition of yours. This is a very worldly thing that you're bringing from the divine into the world. You're manifesting it to, into a material sort of thing. You're also going against the norm. You're rebelling against the norm. You might even be rebelling against some sort of authority figure. You're going against some sort of weird thought process or, or some sort of ideology. You are going, yeah. That's why it's so new is because you are taking, because a lot of people are thinking they have certain values and certain thoughts and certain, certain biases in the world. And you are bringing something new. You're bringing a new opposing idea to them. Which is going to bring peace into the world. That's interesting. What other effects is this going to have? Just want to say, king and queen of swords. You might... A lot of young people are going to be looking up to you and following your advice and following following whatever you have done. You inspire a lot of young people, the, the future generations. So I don't see you changing the minds of the, the older generation. I see you changing the minds of the newer, younger generation. You might even be some sort of teacher for young people or... This is just going to be in the history books of future generations. Yeah. I'm just going to take this and put it here for now. I want to get some advice for pile one. What, are the, what is the advice for pile one? Regarding this, what is the advice for pile one? Ooh. They are asking you to start imagining your perfect future, the, 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 the world you want to live in. How does that look like? You need to close your eyes and visually imagine it or write it down exactly what you want your future to look like or whether it's your future or the world's future. Like You need to start manifesting and you need to start doing it now. And then once you're done imagining that, you should write it down and then make tangible goals for yourself. Like, how can you achieve this? Don't just leave it up to manifesting. Manifesting is great, but you need to take divine inspiration, divine action towards these things. Set up real, set up realistic goals and then going after them. And then maybe checking up every week or every month. Or are you actually getting getting anywhere? Oh yeah, what um, you know. How many goals have you ticked off? Like, make it tangible goals. Like, make it little goals. Break it up into little goals. I'm hearing. Don't be afraid of your own ambition. I'm hearing. I feel like a lot of you have a fear when it comes to ambition or success. Don't be afraid of that. It's not. It's not a corrupt thing. Oh, that's a big message for some of you. Okay, but anyway. What other advice can we have? Put in passion. So put lots of passion, but remember to also be realistic. Be Put down the foundations, put down the roots. Go towards it in an organized, logical manner and not just, not just chaotic energy. Slowly is the best way. You don't need to be in a rush to do this. And it also it's also asking you to really to transform yourself. I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song. What is it the song? I can't remember what the song is, but he's like if you want to change the world, look at the man in the mirror. So you need to start changing yourself. You need to go through a big transformation. You need to go through some sort of ego death in order to do this that's incredible guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next thank you if you chose this crystal or this sculpture this is your reading hello pile two 
So this is the Winged Victory or the Goddess Mikey from Ancient Mythology. And I actually have a little miniature of the statue. Just want to see what the back looks like. Sorry for the noise. Anyway, let's get back to this. Anyway. So obviously, she is the goddess of victory. So what I'm seeing is victory, some sort of victory, some sort of success. And this is success within anything like arts, science, athleticism. I am specifically also seeing you getting a lot of money from this because you chose this crystal. I don't remember the name, but I'll put it down below. Um, but it's also called Fool's Gold. But it has to do with lots of money. I see you attracting an abundant lifestyle. You are supposed to make, you're supposed to be a success story. You're supposed to be abundant. You're supposed to be rich. I see a lot of you um, doing stuff that your parents were never able to do. Like I see some of you being first generational, um, going to university. I see some of you making more than your parents. Yeah, you're not going to live the same lifestyle as your parents. You are going to be creating a new creating a new way of living for yourself. Some of you even might be taking care of your family. I do see that that for some of you. But yeah, you're you're supposed you're meant to be some sort of successful person, but let's see what kind of success you were meant to achieve. What is your life path? What is your soul purpose for part two? Yeah, you're supposed to go on through some new journey. This is very scary for you because you don't know anyone that has done this, what you're planning to do. And your your spirit guides are asking you to not be afraid of jumping into this water. Like, you're at the moment focusing on this crocodile in the water. But if you jump in with faith, if you trust this process, if you trust the divine, if you trust your spirit guides, this wave is going to take you away from the, the crocodile and you're going to go to a new world. You're also going to gain a lot of wisdom through making yourself uncomfortable by jumping in and making yourself uncomfortable become comfortable with the fact that you are uncomfortable hmm. but yeah i do see lots of you coming from a place of lack like maybe maybe you're broke or maybe your parents weren't as rich as you want th wanted them to be i see you i see you being different from that. I see you gaining money. I see you gaining the wisdom of money. <sighs> I keep getting book um, recommendations now. So this is not sponsored, but if you want to read more about spirituality and money and how that goes and how that connects, you can read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's a great book to read because it's all about how to manifest money, how to Get into the flow of receiving money. Because if you're not in the flow of receiving money, if you have a lack mindset when it comes to money, you're not gonna be, you're gonna be, you're not gonna be rich. You're not money's not gonna come to you naturally. Money ideas are not gonna come to you naturally. But once you open yourself up to money, work through your limiting beliefs and through your fears, and you manifest money, you are going to like the money's just gonna come. Money ideas, money opportunities are just gonna come to you. Okay, what else can I see? How to, what is the sole purpose? I'm going to take this as upright. You also have to learn detachment when it comes to these victories and money. Learning that you don't need it. Learning that you don't need to be obsessed with it in order to obtain it. Like you've put out the manifestation, you've put out the intention, and now you're moving on. You're not, you're not sitting in that energy. You're not, you're not, you're not afraid of being poor or you're not afraid of not having money. You're not afraid of not having an idea. You are just 
going with the with the flow and you're patient you're you're patiently waiting for this abundant opportunity to come your way i do see you there's some sort of dream that you have this big dream that you've had maybe since you were a child you might have thought that you were not able to obtain it but you can and this is the thing that's going to bring you lots of money bring you victory and bring you success you need to start listening to your desires not not what you think is going to help you make more money you need to stop thinking in that way you need to stop thinking in the fear mindset of what job can i do that's going to give me lots of money because if you think that way you're ruled by money you're controlled by money you need to start thinking what job actually interests me what job do i find fun what job or career is like it meshes with my soul that i resonate with you know because if you do that you will find there is always a way of becoming successful and becoming rich from any career i think some of you are also artists that might believe that certain careers, certain jobs don't make money. That is false. There is always a way. There is always a way of selling what you... You are providing some sort of service or product. There's always a, someone who is going to want to buy it. That's... Yeah, really go and rethink and grow rich. It will help you guys immensely. I'm also hearing some of you need to start talking to successful people getting their wisdom if you surround yourself with other successful people you will naturally attract success to you you are your friends what i have discovered throughout my life is let's in school if I want to do better in school, I would always make sure that I surround myself. My friends were, were smarter than me, were getting better grades. And that would naturally inspire me to also get better grades. It was the weirdest thing. Um, and if I was just surrounding myself with people who didn't care about school, I, my grades were also going down. So you need to surround yourself with people that you are inspired by, that you look up to. Hmm, okay, what else can you hear? Pile two. About their life. Okay, lots of cards. I'm also hearing you need to protect your ideas. The previous pile had this same message. You need to protect your dreams. You do not need to broadcast what you are planning to do to everybody. Because that is going to send evil eye to you. You need to protect, protect it. I'm also hearing some people might try and copy you if you are just speaking about your ideas. This is not going to be an easy path. But success, success and victory never is. This we always hear about these overnight successes but the th truth is that was not an overnight success that it had years and years of training beforehand years of years of blood sweat and tears nothing is actually an overnight success there are going to be obstacles you are going to get tired it's going to be frustrating sometimes you're going to be uncomfortable you're going to have to work harder than you ever thought possible but if you have the, the mindset of, you know what, I trust this, you are going to get through it. You just need those, a strong mind in order to power through. So don't expect this to be easy. This is not going to be easy. If you're expecting easy, you're going to have a lot of disappointment. <laughs> so make sure that your heart is in it and make sure that your mind is in it. Because if those things are in it you're gonna win it <laughs> i should be a family poet anyway what other advice can you give pile two okay study study the people around you study other success stories study 
people who have done what you wish to do, study them. How did they do it? Read their books, read their biographies. If you know someone in your real life who has done the thing you wish to do, go talk to them. Become their friends. Ask them questions. Let them be your mentor. Let them be your guide and absorb everything you can. You need to become like an like a student. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how much you know about the industry that you're going into. You need to pretend that you know nothing and that you are absorbing every single piece of information that you can get. That's so interesting. What else? Last pieces of advice for pile two. Hearing confidence, but working on what you believe confidence actually is. No, what you believe confidence is and what it actually is. Realizing that pride or ego is not confidence. Um, pretending to be confident does not equal being confident, I'm hearing. Yes, fake it till you make it. But learning how to trust yourself and trust your abilities and trust the fact that you will inevitably, 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 <laughs> trust that you will eventually get there. Work on your insecurities. Cleanse your insecurities. Why are they your insecurities? What, what makes you afraid of showing those insecurities? Working with your flaws. Your flaws make you special somehow. Your flaws is what's going to put you a league above, above other people in this industry that you're thinking about. So how can you maneuver with your flaws, with your insecurities? How can you make that special? And starting to trust yourself completely. Trust you know, I, I'm seeing you getting rid of that inner critic, the, per, the, the, the person in your head that's saying, oh, no, you didn't do that well. You're a failure. You're pathetic. Or this idea is stupid. Or the way you just did that is stupid. You know, I want you're going to work with that. You're going to. You're going to heal that. And it, it it's going to be a big spiritual journey for you because you do have the tower. But you're going to learn a lot from it. I'm seeing a lot of you also having to just need to get like a little bit more angry <laughs> with something. While you're healing, you're going to you're going to feel the emotion of anger. And being angry at yourself, being angry at other people, being angry at situations in order to heal. Like I feel like you you don't let yourself be angry. And that emotion is now sitting within your body. And it is prohibiting you from moving forward hmm. well if you enjoyed this reading please give it a like and subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next thank you so much if you chose this crystal or this sculpture this is your reading hello pile three so i just first want to talk about this crystal this was a part of my face roller but then the face roller broke so i feel like this is going to be significant towards your reading so I see I do see an element of you taking care of yourself, taking care of your beauty. That's going to be somehow important. But I see you also because she's veiled. I do see you doing a lot of work behind the scenes that people do not see. I see you not bragging about what you're doing. I see you being humble. I see I see that hum that humility inspiring people. Because this is a, this is um 
a sculpture of the Virgin Mary, and she is a huge role model to a lot of people in the world. What she represents, her values. Mother of the world, I'm hearing. You're going to create something. Something big. I want to get more on your cards because I'm struggling to just... Just from the crystal and the, the sculpture, I'm struggling to gain something, but it's this is something very secretive, something very subconscious, something from the spiritual plane. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the moon or the high priestess, but let's see. <laughs> I am getting those vibes. Pile through, what is their purpose? What is their life path? What is pile through's purpose or life path? Okay. Okay, this is just a normal. Yeah. I see you creating something something divine. You're going to have a big impact on how people think, what they believe, how they see the world, and you're going to help people Bring good luck into their lives. I want to see more. It is your duty to see things from, to, to see the unseen and to make that and to explain that to people and to bring light to the unseen in the world. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Pile three, what is their sole purpose or life path? I see you working with people who feel like failures, who feel like the world has defeated them. Like some of you might be psychologists or counsellors. But you're, you're a very wise person and you, you inspire people to think, hey, maybe my life isn't a failure. What does the Eight of Pentacles represent? You help people discover their power. Because you have done the work and discovered your own power. You have discovered who you truly are at your core. And you're going to help people discover who they are. It's a very inspirational bunch. Some of you are life coaches. I don't know. <laughs> Some of you are going to be creating stuff like maybe films, books, some sort of art that inspires people, that has strong messages. Let's see what else I can get from this pile. Swans are important. Love is important. Love is going to be important. It's going to be an important part of your life journey. The person who you end up marrying is going to be important. I feel like the other two piles were more about career. This can also be love. Some sort of significant person. You bring love into the world as well. I'm also hearing the song, My Love is All Mine. What's that song called from Mitski? My love is all my love. You know that one? I'm not singing right. <laughs> anyway. But your love is important. You inspire people to view the world with love. Some of you, it is in your life path to be parents, to build a family. And that family is going to 
be very successful. That's also what I'm hearing. Like, I feel like you're build, building generational wealth, some of you. This is a very vague pile, but let's see. Like, I hope this is resonating with some of you. I feel like some of you are not supposed to know exactly what your path is. But this is what we are allowed to know. So take what resonates and take what. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, but whatever. Yeah, definitely love is a big factor. You might be a romance novelist. Love might inspire your work. It might inspire some sort of big idea you have with your work. Once again, your children are significant. I, so now I'm going back to the mother thing that I said earlier. I don't know. What did I say? Mother of the world. That's also Eve. Yeah. Your children are going to be significant. You are meant to birth something into this world. Whether it be children, whether it be some sort of business idea. You are meant to nurture something. Okay. What did I say earlier about generational wealth? I think in um, the Rider Waite tarot deck, this is, um, it's a family. A very wealthy and successful family. So you're creating generational wealth. You are creating a family, a very significant family line. People are going to remember your names. Okay. We have three kings here. Three kings, a princess and the empress. So three kings. I keep on getting biblical, like, um, downloads. That's very interesting. But the three kings, or the three magi, or the three wise men, that's somehow significant from the Bible, from the New Testament. I don't know if that resonates. We'll see what happens. That might be significant to you. Giving gifts. Gift giving is very important. You are going to give a gift to the world. What is this gift? What is this gift? You're going to be giving a gift of teaching people not to be selfish. Not to... You know, you, you're, you're giving the gift of community, of friendship, of love. I keep hearing love. This is a very important thing for this pile. Your energy, your heart chakra, lifts the moods of other people. Ooh, that's a strong message. Yes. When you're in a room, your energy, your aura, it makes people feel better you don't drain people's energies you kind of like charge them but without you losing your own energy people enjoy being with you they feel healed when they're with you because you have such a pure loving energy you nurture people people might come to you for advice people might come to you telling you their stories like you just have the face of someone who feels like they, they feel that they would understand. Hmm. Let's see what else I can get. What is pile three? Life path or soul purpose? But yeah, okay. I told you we're going to get the moon. <laughs> I told you. Um... So there is some sort of big successful victory that you're going to be achieving in this lifetime. But they're not going to tell us now what this is. They're not even going to give us a hint. With the other piles where they were a bit mysterious about what the idea is or what the success or what the victory is. They're also a bit vague, but 
they were giving us hints. Here, I don't feel like they're giving us any hints. That you are not supposed to know right now what this big victory in your life is. You can have, you can guess, but it's probably even bigger than your own imagination. That's incredible. But you are meant to bring light into this world. I can feel like the moon, the moon shines, moon gives us a little bit of light at night so that it's not completely dark. But I'm also hearing the moon, it doesn't actually shine its own light. It's this, it's the reflection of the sun's light. So you reflect other people's light back to them. You bring out the best in other people. And people love you so much because they see themselves within you. They resonate with you. They feel at harmony with you. They feel you understand them. Wow, this is powerful. What else can we get though? What else can we get for power three? You are naturally a very wise person. You're naturally very much in tune with the subconscious world, with the divine realm. You might get a lot of dreams. You might be, you know, up in the clouds daydreaming a lot. And it's because of this wisdom that you are going to do something great in the physical world. You're going to bring something great into the physical world because you are so divinely in tune because you are a creative or like you are you are divinely inspired wow this is incredible energy anyway if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next thank you so much